talk about yourself and how you feel about D&D. My real self the characters So, I'm the DM for this group. Um, I'm the only one who has any experience playing D&D &D, uh, prior to uh, joining this group. And uh, it was actually the girls who approached me uh, asking to learn to play D&D. Now, we're hardly the first group to talk about how girls actually play D&D. Uh, on the Dungeons and Dragons website, there's an online dragon magazine, and uh, in that magazine, they have uh, a monthly article called Confessions of a Full-Time Wizard, uh, and it's written by a woman named Shelley Mazinoble, and she also wrote another book called uh, Confessions of a Part-Time Sorceress, and that's what led her to get uh, her job writing for Dragon Magazine. Only one of the girls knows about Shelley Mazinoble in her article. Really is. When I say, why did you keep the brand? Uh, why did you keep the brand? The key and game was always something that my friends would do, and it seemed really cool. And I didn't really get into playing until a couple months ago. But it's actually been really fun. I grew up young. I was doing the previous service yesterday. Um, I, Allie has a lot of fun with this, doesn't she? Yeah. Okay, Allie. Right. We love her because she makes us feel good. <laughs> and she's, she's also a good team player. Um, the only, yeah, the only thing is that it's only her second campaign, so she hasn't quite gotten a grasp of how to, uh, do the math. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do the math, okay? Okay. I have many strengths. Okay, so your paladin stands there with this big sword just thinking like this. How do you, oh, she plays the cutest characters in the campaign. She's always, like, halflings or gnomes, and she's fun to be around. And appropriately, her best skill, I think, is like, what, charisma or something. Yeah, very perfect. My current character, Asa, um, she's a paladin. And her parents were scientists at a zombie research facility, and then one faulty experiment, and then zombies attacked them. So, she's kind of on a mission to warn people about zombie dangers, and kill zombies, and like give little children zombie whistles and they're gonna like break whistles but if they're being attacked by a zombie you just blow it and we are in the middle of a short campaign that actually um i shouldn't say in the middle because we just finished the campaign uh okay. where they fight zombies and that's all they fight this campaign we're killing zombies and that's, that's a lot of fun. There are a lot of characters that are really strong. Does the Sanctuary say on her? If it you... says on her Abby. She started as a healer, but she, right now, she um, really likes doing damage now. Uh, my current character's name is Tiff, which is just a nickname. Uh, she is a Githyanki sword name. And sword mages are awesome. Abby, she's always kind of been the healer in my mind because she's been one like twice running, I think. <laughs> sword mages are so much fun because they um, they can melee, but they also have a bunch of like really like flashy moves that let you teleport and things like that. They're just really good for uh, being part of a party that yes. has to think about strategy and tactics. Twenty versus will. That hits. Awesome. Okay. D and D minis are expensive, so rather than use the official things, we just use all my old Digimon and uh, Monster Ranger figures, and it really works well. They fit the size. Uh, besides that, we have to have a lot of dungeon tiles to make sure that you know the setting looks all right. We definitely need the dice. The dice are huge. Uh, every player has their own superstitions about them. Uh, some think there are ways to be lucky with them, and others just think they're plastic dice. Uh, talk about how you feel towards your dice. My dice. Well, sadly to say, they're not my dice. I'm a dice moocher. I feel good about my dice. And immediately after getting them, I did the girliest, nerdiest girliest thing ever. 
And I'm hanging my nails the same color as my dice. <laughs> I have two sets of dice. And if one's not rolling well, I will use the other one. <laughs> I love my dice. Oh, have I told you about my three pairs of pairs? No, three sets of dice. <laughs> you really want me to answer that question? Okay, in the beginning, I had been using David's dice, and they really hated me. She can't roll half the time to save her life. Actually, that was during the first campaign, they were okay, but like. Towards the second half, they started hating me. Oh, her dice, yeah. She has she has really bad luck with her dice, or with any dice, really. We suspect that her luck rubs off on people. And during the second campaign, they really hated me. Holly cannot roll for her life. That is all I have to say about her. And I, I just kept like rolling like threes and like ones and like twos, somewhere around there. Okay, so now that you've killed the other player <laughs> character, what about the zombie? <laughs> Talk about your previous characters. Strike was my last character and he was awesome. <laughs> Laura likes being a tank. Laura made an awesome tank. He was an amazing tank. And, uh, yeah, could do lots of damage. So part of it's because he was really high level, like everyone's character last campaign. And he was a warforged fighter ranger? Rogue. Ranger. Ranger. Wait, 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 I wanna, uh, the other one was aimed at you then. Talk about your favorite part of D&D. &D. My favorite part of D&D? &D? Hmm. I like skill checks and role playing. My favorite part of D&D, &D, I guess, would probably be the role playing. I actually really like it when we like role play and we like start arguing amongst each other. Encounters, because we get to be that shit. So, yeah, I like doing a lot of damage and get you out of notice. Cool. That thing's scary. Sonia is sort of like the silent crazy one, but who can somehow get all these attacks out. Sonia. Not as good a team player. <laughs> I don't want to, I feel a little bad saying that, but it's kind of true. So, what I basically like to do is beat up shit and make it clean. And she doesn't really need that much help, I guess, generally. Not really. <laughs> we need her help most of the time. Okay, uh, that doesn't go so well. Um, it is now the mall. Talk about the DM. Oh, come on, that's not fair. <laughs> I think we're really lucky to have David as the DM. He is an evil bastard. The role of DM just... Stop with me. Nine for the next one. Okay, uh, talk about the other players. <sighs> okay. Um, you know what? I don't really know what to say. I mean, there are people that I'm around with all the time. So if I were to just talk about them as people, <laughs> I'd be here for a long time. Okay. The other players are great. They all, it's so funny because they all have such distinct personalities. It's really enjoyable. I've like, gotten to know my friends a lot more. Oh, it, wasn't, it wasn't so bad when I figured out what the picture I mean, we really, we like playing d and I think we prefer it, prefer it like in the summer or something where there's like not much else, like just conflicting with everything. But, yeah, we're having a good time. Please. The other players, okay. Okay, Ebony is Abby, we'll let this Holly. I've been doing pretty good calling with every other year so far. Holy crap, there were zombies! Yeah, I guess that's the best part, is being able to, I guess, interact with people you already know in kind of a different... I guess it's effectively a different setting because it's, you know, a different world. Yeah. Uh, I'm currently planning the next campaign, which will take them to the highest levels, and they're actually looking forward to it. And uh, I'm glad about that, because these girls, uh, they, they started off really new with the game. And they've gotten pretty good at it, and they, they recognize, you know, uh, how to make a good character by now. Uh, they can think of combos faster than I can at certain points. Think of ways to make really effective characters before I realize that the possibilities are there. So there are two points to this little movie. One is to show people who've never played Dungeons and & Dragons and might think ill of it, that it's not just some game that smelly, lonely guys play in their mom's basement 
uh, it's a game that anyone can enjoy, and it can be fun for all sorts of people. Um, and the second point of this video is to show uh, people like that, who can get, you know, a little exclusive about it, that different people can be good at the game. So the take-home message is that all different types of people can enjoy it, and all different types of people can be good at the game. So the end.